So the research shows in emotional intelligence that the leaders who are most self-aware, and that is the cornerstone for everything else, are usually the ones that are able to create the kind of climate in which people feel comfortable and I think are able to take the risk to grow and develop. And that is what you want in this particular reality that we're in. The leaders who engage in discernment, because it is a discernment of your purpose. No one hands it to you. No one writes it down and says, here it is. You figure it out with the help, with some of the things that we do. And so that's why we do a lot of conflict resolution work, a lot of helping people learn to listen to themselves, other people, and why we do a lot of negotiation and mediation work as well. Those are skills that leaders lack. Because if you really embrace diversity, if you really value it, you are going to have conflict. If you really are going to be leading change, you're going to have conflict. It's creative. It's innovative if you know how to handle it. So the important skills for people to have. And if you are a conflict avoider, if you don't like messy situations, you're not going to be a very effective leader in these days. You might just want to, you know, go read a book or write poetry. <laughs> I don't want to demean it. I do both. <laughs> But you have the one who can lead an institution through the changes that they're needing to, to go through because you're going to lead people through the gap. Like you said, that lim, you know, liminality uh, space, that place of liminal netherland. You just have to really be able to be fully present and in the moment and yet still see what is going on outside of yourself. It's just a really important skill. I don't think it's a gift, but I think it's a skill. That's what I'm thinking.